Hi, this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Vein Care answering a question. What causes sock lines around my ankles? This is a common problem for people and it and really one thing people need to understand is that at some point in your life you'll look down there and see sock lines and it doesn't necessarily mean that something's going wrong. Uh, what is uh, known is that if it becomes a, a daily event then that usually indicates there's some kind of um, medical condition that's that's causing it. Most commonly is uh, w what we see in the office is, is actually a vein condition that causes it. People um, with a vein condition have extra pressure in the circulation and also the circulation is not flowing properly causing inflammation. The combination of the extra pressure in the vein circulation in your legs uh, and also the inflammation which makes the blood vessel leaky, that's a side effect of uh, inflammation, allows fluid to leak out into the legs. Uh, usually it's, it's, it's not a serious condition. Often it can get tense and sore, just the pressure in the legs. That's what patients tell us. And if you look at their legs uh, like I do, uh, you can see that that would be understandable. Uh, the remarkable thing about a vein condition and one of the characteristics that helps us determine whether the swelling from a sock line is, is related to a vein condition or something else is that it, um, it goes away completely overnight if you're able to sleep flat in bed. If you're someone that has a condition like back pain or maybe a breathing condition that prevents you from sleeping in a bed, but you have to sleep in a recliner, well, those people uh, tend to have a persistent um, sock line swelling uh, because their swelling never has a chance to resolve overnight. Uh, th another clue that this might be from a vein condition is if the sock line swelling is in just one leg. That suggests that there's a problem in the vein in that leg. Um, other causes that can contribute to sock line swelling in one leg is uh, some kind of trauma to the to the leg, uh, possibly previous surgery or even in a uh, arthritis of the knee. Those are common uh, findings that we see as well. So the, the most important thing probably is to is to get it sorted out. And uh, one of the simplest ways to do that is to get a screening, or you can get an ultrasound of the of the vein circulation to determine if the vein circulation is not working properly. Uh, so this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Vein Care.